Welcome back to the channel guys, it's me Adam. In this video today, Wall Street is pretty red and Facebook is having a very bad day. Taking a look at the S&P 500. Big tech is getting it pretty rough today. Microsoft down 2%, Apple down 2.55%, Nvidia 4.63, Google 2.16, Facebook 5.11% and Amazon 2.5%. Uh, looking at financials, Visa's down, MasterCard's down, PayPal's down pretty rough. The banks are pretty much trading sideways as well as Berkshire. Healthcare sideways down. The only technology that kind of survived today is Tesla up 1.46% after car deliveries were announced over the weekend. Uh, it did touch 800 at one point, but uh, it's retraced back to just below at 786. Energy having a really good day and the rest of the market pretty much sideways. So what happened? Facebook It's now trading at 323. It opened up at 335 and on Friday, it closed at 3.43. So that's a pretty substantial drop. We'll look at the charts momentarily. Uh, scrolling down, we see Mark Zuckerberg loses $7 billion today as Facebook stock plunges. I know that he has uh, equity in his own company. I mean, he's a multi-billionaire. I don't think he really cares so much about that as growing his company and making it as best as possible. So I know it sucks, whatever, but these guys, these serial entrepreneurs, like they don't care about their net worth as much as when it comes to just creating the best possible product and growing it as big as possible. Just look at uh, Jeff Bezos, for example, when it comes to Amazon or, or Musk. Like They have enough money to just retire. And, and Jim Cramer says this time is different for Facebook stock. So what happened today, guys? Facebook stock is plummeting amid outages whistleblower report. So this lady over here, she's the whistleblower, aka the snitch, who made numerous bombshell allegations to 60 Minutes, such as Facebook encourages hate speech for profit, there was conflict between what was good for the public and what was good for Facebook. And Facebook chose over and over again to optimize for its own interest, like making more money. Again, guys, this is really bad PR, but I want to take us to the charts for a moment. And I want to take you guys to the big news of the day that people that don't care about stocks all know about, that Facebook is suffering its worst outage since 2008. Oh, the horror. What will we ever do? And honestly, this is something I thought about. Let's say the internet went down for a day. The amount of chaos that would bring to the world. I mean, 30, 40 years ago, there was no internet. You can't miss what you never had, right? But now, now that Facebook is down and Instagram and WhatsApp, people use these every day to communicate with one another and, you know, post their selfies and post their engagements and whatnot. Like, I'm willing to bet probably people died from this outage today, like in some weird way. Maybe, maybe from communication loss or whatever, but in some other weird way, it probably happened as well. So it marks the worst outage for the technology giant since 2008 when a bug knocked Facebook offline for about a day. But the service only had 80 million users back then. Today it's much, 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 much higher. Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp have all been down for more than three hours. So a very dark day in Facebook history. So this is Facebook stock over the past year or so. And I remember earlier this year, there was really big FUD regarding Facebook and their WhatsApp. Remember the whole Signal saga and Signal stock and all that. But anyway, everyone was saying all bad things about Facebook and it dropped like a rock over what, four or five trading sessions uh, and pretty much touched this uh, 200 simple moving day average. Now, the gap between the 200 SMA over here and where the price was earlier is a much higher. We see the big range compared to over here, right? So this is a much bigger drop, but we can see, again, using data we have before, it's not necessarily gonna happen again, but using this data over here, potentially, we could potentially be seeing a buying opportunity the closer we get to that average. And zooming out, if we do slice through it, then maybe we see resistance where the top over here, the resistance of last September, which would be at maybe 300. And honestly, seeing Facebook below $300 would be very shocking. I mean, anything's possible, especially given where it was, but like anything can, can move because of news. Like look at Alibaba, for example, guys. Like this one does not want to stop. Like it's, it's also a below 140. Does it go back to the support line that it hit back in 2018, 2019 at about 130? What a crazy drop, guys. The entire market has been having a pretty rough day. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ down to 2.45%. So another really rough day, guys. We've had a few rough red days once every week for the last three weeks. One over here and then this gap down over here as well, guys. So uh, it's been pretty rough in the market for the past week. It's been volatile, but again, this is when sometimes are the best opportunities long term. So how far can the NASDAQ drop, guys? So I, so I had a support line of where we are right now at around 352, guys. But if we do slice through that tomorrow and the day after, and we see more weakness. I would say the next stop, guys, is the 343, 340 area. The resistance point back from earlier this year in April could become the new support as well as the 200 simple moving day average. If we look at it on the weekly time frame and zooming out, then even if we slice through that, then the 50 EMA would be the next stop, which would be a very strong opportunity at that point. 
Uh, but again, will it drop that low? Uh, it hasn't for the last year and a half, pretty much. Uh, so, I mean, anything's possible, but you know, you just got to uh, figure out where you're comfortable buying and how much risk you're willing to take. And taking a look at the SPY also on the one week time frame as well. Similar situation, guys. The 50 EMA is at about 405. That is a pretty long way down from where we are right now at 428. And we see back to the correction of last year, we dropped below the 20 EMA a little bit and then we recovered afterward, which is pretty much where we are right now. So uh, will we see continued weakness or will we recover from here? Uh, again, who knows? And taking a quick look at Facebook again, guys, the market cap is at 915 billion. It was over a trillion dollars maybe three, four weeks ago. Over the past month, it's down like 15 or so percent which is pretty substantial for such a mega cap company. It was at $380, now at $324 over the past month. Even when it was at $380, it was still cheap in my opinion. And as of right now, the forward PE is at 20.17, which is very low for such a strong growth company. I know there's a lot of fear right now. I know there's a lot of bad news and a lot of people are really down on Facebook, but as a company, let's, I, know, I know sentiment is important, but as a company that is growing, and I know there are headwinds when it comes to their advertising because of Apple and that news that came out a couple weeks ago as well. Taking your own political beliefs out of it, do you think Facebook will continue to grow revenues in their bottom line over the next two, three, four, five years? Are you willing to bet yes? In fact, my shares kind of depend on it. Otherwise, that's the end of my video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you think of Facebook stock. Are you buying the dip? Are you waiting? Are you not touching it? As well with the rest of the market, guys, let me know in the comments below what you're doing. As well, as always, subscribe, like, and I will see you guys in the next video.